And I've witnessed a lot of cases of depression and anxiety when I was at the hospital. I never thought that on the other side of the world, there's people, they are my age, but they're living a completely different life as me. The 2024 Emerging Visionaries National Summit and Ceremony was held to award young students who are passionate about and making change in public welfare. I came up with this program when I was uh, first in high school because I'm diagnosed with uh, systemic lupus erythematosus when I was seven and I've witnessed a lot of cases of depression and anxiety when I was at the hospital. So um, I was like wondering uh, what kind of games or other kinds of activities might be helpful. And I organized an online community that is composed of nearly 100 SLE families and those kids are between 11 to 18 years old. In this community, they can, can chat together to provide you know, mutual support and also we provide some um, courses and also we have some anonymous platforms so they can share their ideas and feelings anonymously. Back in seventh grade, in social studies class, my teacher played a documentary where children from the third world countries are suffering, basically suffering and drinking dirty water straight from little puddles. I never thought that on the other side of the world, there's people, they are my age, but they're living a completely different life as me. That gave me the inspiration to do my light of filter bottle where I incorporated a filter and a solar charged LED light to help children drink safe water as well as they can also use this lighting to study during the night and commutes and so on and so forth. In April, both Ku and Ye attended the Emerging Visionaries Global Summit in the United States, where workshops and meetings took place for attendees to share their projects with other young changemakers. The Emerging Visionaries is an award that supports Chinese youth aged 12 to 18 to practice the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals with innovative public service projects. Over the past 11 years, nearly 6,600 secondary school students have applied, and this year, a total of 390 applications were received from 128 schools across China. The idea is to collaborate with schools and companies to support students with promising ideas. It is different program, uh, very interesting. My first advice is to pursue in this way, and our support is to help also in terms of infrastructure in order to help this program. The Faux Sound Foundation launched the School Alliance Seeding Program this year. It provides public welfare training to secondary school students and helps them find suitable projects. If projects prove viable, program organizers will also help with long-term development of such. Yanlai